So here's something you don't see every day. I managed to acquire one of these car wash vacuums. <laughs> I saw it on a Facebook marketplace about a year ago. And uh, the one in the picture had a blue top on it. I guess the guy had multiple. Sold the other one, but he still had this one available. But, yeah, you really don't see these pop up too often, so... I saw the ad was still up, and it's like, you know what, I'm going to ask him, see if he still got it, and if he does, I'll make the trip. It was about a three-hour trip, and <clears throat> I met up with some fellow collectors out that way while I was out there. I've known them for a while, but haven't met them before. So, this unit is a dual motor. I'll insert a shot of the motors up here. It's pretty healthy sounding so I don't feel the need to take the motors completely apart on it. It just doesn't seem like it's worthwhile. I can't imagine I'll actually be using this much. <laughs> <clears throat> but when I got the unit the coin box had been vandalized and you can see it's bent right along here. I was gonna try to bend it back but <laughs> this stuff is uh it's pretty sturdy and I don't really have a good way to try to bend that. So I just put that back on there and I bypassed all the uh, the coin mechanisms and such. So now we just have two rocker switches here. This one is for the light, because there's a light bulb under the dome, or a socket rather. So that one's for the light and then this one activates both of the motors. Yep, it's uh, definitely an interesting find. I've got a two inch cuff for the claw tool and I got an inch and a half cuff for the crevice tool. I just got the parts in today, like this coupler. It was a, uh, he had a cuff on it similar to this that was just inserted into there, but it was really loose. So it's like, I'm gonna seek out a proper cuff. But why don't we take a look at the dirt collection system in this? So this is the bottom chamber in here that uh, the dirt falls into. We can see the inlet right there. And then up above, we have these cloth filters. It's not quite as clean in here as I thought it was. A few rusty spots that just didn't want to come out. And uh, I know there are some optional accessories for these, like a vinyl... Or even rubber basin you can like stick in the bottom of here so you can empty that out a little bit easier. But, you know, it's something I don't think will see a lot of practical usage. So I'm not too worried about it. And uh, we've got a model sticker down here. There's a better one under the coin box. But... We get most of the same information from there anyways. And then let's take a look at the... Oh. And then we have the filters. All four of them are held in by a hook at the top, which keeps pressure on them to keep them in place. But I'm guessing when it gets dirty, you just come in here and kind of shake them off, let everything fall into the bottom. Alright, so I left the cuff on here so we can get a measurement taken. Because I just put the uh, cover back on here. Finally got a space kind of cleared out for the cord to stick out. <laughs> So, I figured I'd have to leave this on here, otherwise the uh, metal piece only sticks out to maybe about, like, here. And that would have made it pretty hard to uh, get the vein in that. But, uh, I'm not sure that'll work. Uh, we'll try it. But, anyways, this is, uh, as you guys have seen, it's a dual motor. They're in parallel, and parallel units tend to produce higher airflow while having water lift generally just slightly above 
a single motor unit when they're mounted in series that is the air from the motor feeds into the next one then you have higher water lift but your airflow isn't quite as affected so these are made to have high flow <laughs> i have a feeling we're going to see a new record here so let's flip the motors on <laughs> Well, maybe they don't sound quite as healthy as I thought. But, uh, yeah, that is definitely the highest amount of flow I've ever seen. <laughs> but that's kind of to be expected. Generally, when I take uh, hose measurements, I like to have the hose uh, as straight as I can. But the bulkiness and length of this hose makes it kind of impractical. So I think in this case, I'm just going to put it on the end of this cuff and call it good. So let's boot it back up. Stop some reading. 